Sam. Sam. Is anybody home? Sorry. Why do you feel like you have to apologize? Because I'll be leaving you alone. I won't be alone, Jason. Because I'll be thinking about you. <laughs> and I'll be writing you, and I'm gonna be visiting you all the time. like someone. I do? At my grandma Monica's house, there's pictures that look like you. <clears throat> yeah, I know your uh, grandma Monica. She's a really nice lady. Hey, you know what? I got some new juice boxes. Why don't you go to the fridge and pick yourself one out, yeah? Okay. He loves me? <clears throat> I do. Why were you gone so long? I, I didn't... I didn't want to go away. And I, I tried my, my very hardest to get back. Were you sad when you were gone? Yeah, yeah, I was. 
I was, but when I got back and I saw you with your mom and your dad and your baby sister, it made me made me feel better because you have such a great family. But you're my daddy too. Why didn't you say so right away? Oh, uh, it's just you know, there's a lot to to figure out. There still is. But I'd like to get to know you. Whenever you feel feel ready. I'm ready. Uh, what do you you want to shake hands or? Or you could hug me. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go now. Danny, I'll, I'll see you real soon, okay? If you come to my grandma Monica's house, you can see Annabelle. I taught her how to shake hands. Uh, that would be great. Hello. Jason? It's me. Hey. I need your help. Where are you? I'm at the police station. Should I call Diane? No, it has to be you. Okay, I'm on my way. Who was that? Sam, she needs me. Needs you how? Um, I don't know. You're just gonna go to her? Some things never change. You need backup? No. No, and I know Spinelli drives you crazy. Sonny mm -hmm. just... No, if he calls, he tells me anything about Faison, I'll let you know. Thank you. Good luck with Sam. And I'm sorry for that. Because Andrew is going to fight for you. But Jason won't. It's not in his nature. And you know that. He's just going to step back and wait. And he'll be there when you need him. He's going to back off when you don't. He thinks that will make you happy. And that's all that matters to Jason, is making you happy. But it won't make you happy, Sam, not really. Not in your heart. Andrew's a good man. And he loves you. But Jason owns your heart and your soul, and you own his. And admitting this is gonna be the hardest thing you've ever done. But it's the best thing for everyone, especially Andrew. No, come on. Jason, I don't want to sleep. Not for a single second. Please, no. I'm not going to. Okay. I'm not going to bed. It's not so bad, is it? No, we're, we're not sorry now. Are you okay? How's Drew doing? I know that he's not in custody. The Navy dropped the charges. Yeah, they're, um, they're, they're asked to still be a, a review, but Commander Fuller said it was just a formality. Drew's been exonerated because of you. Thank you for helping Drew. That's fine. Jason. Will you let me thank you, please? You already thanked me, Sam. Well, I'm trying to thank you again. You're a big, strong guy. You can stand there and be thanked why, again, why you, you know? Why are you getting mad at me? 
because it wasn't fair to ask you to get involved. And I did it anyway, because I knew you would. And I knew you would come through. And you did. When I was sitting at the police station listening to you go over what happened, I realized that I had been so focused on Drew and how much he was hurting. Then I didn't pay attention to you. And everything has been taken away from you. It's okay. No, it's not. I don't know what else to do. I love him. I married him. I know. The night you were shot, there was this, I searched, there were boats, some divers, and they said that they couldn't find you, and I didn't believe them. So I put on my wetsuit, and I went into that harbor myself to look for you. I found the Phoenix figurine, the one that you gave me for Christmas. Faison must have had people waiting for me. By the time you got in there, I was, I was already No, gone. no, I, I, I should have known. The official story never added up. Well, you couldn't have known, Sam. There was Faison. He was at the PCPD, and I went there to question him, but I couldn't get any answers but from him. you had him. no way of knowing what questions I to even ask. I had my heart. My instincts told me that you were still alive. I would come down here at night and I would just stare out at the water. I think part of me was waiting for you. And then you thought I came back? Yeah. I did. I thought your brother was you. But it doesn't change anything. <sighs> Knowing that he's not. I could never, ever regret loving him. <sighs> Is Danny here? I want to give him this present. Oh, Drew took him to the Quartermains. Scott and I are going to meet them there when she wakes up from the nap. Oh, okay. Um, well, I can see uh, Danny another time. Hey, you can leave the present under the tree if you want. Or you can give it to him in person. No, it's un up under to you. the trees. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, come here. Wow, it's a, it's a nice tree. Yeah, I thought it would be nice for the kids. <laughs> it's a far cry from the runt we brought home that year, remember? <laughs> yeah, I remember. I'll get out of here. No, this, this place is yours. This is your home, my son's home. I have no interest in taking it back. Thank you. Aurora, that was, um, that was definitely purchased with your money, too, so I'll figure out a way no, to... I already, I already talked to Diane about that. She's drawing up paperwork so it can stay in your hands. It's a lot to ask from you. I'll consider it a gift. For Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey, you are 
such a sucker. Look at it. It's sweet. I'm looking at it and... And what? I couldn't bear this all of this poor little thing sitting on the lot all by itself during Christmas. I think if we just give it a little TLC, it will be beautiful. Okay. Maybe not beautiful, but definitely unique.